Welcome to NBMIP tutorial part 4. In this video, we will be showing how to create the simulation and run the simulation in NVMIT using NVGuide and NVCore. First, let's open the NVMIT headquarters. Then, in the NVMIT headquarters, click on the NVGuide to create the SIMX file which is required to run the simulation. We can create a new SIMX file or load any SIMX file that was previously created. For this tutorial, we will be creating a new SIMX file. We need to fill the info needed for the simulation under the mandatory section. First, we will be providing the information for general settings. For the date and time of our simulation, we will be running the simulation for 2022, June 2nd. The starting time will be 6 a.m. and total simulation will be for 24 hours. For the simulation name, it will be root simulation. For the folder for model outputs, you can select any desired location or you can keep it empty. Then the output will be saved beside the SIMX file. So we will be keeping it empty. For the model area, we need to load our INX file. In our tutorial video second, we have shown how to create the INX file using NVMIT spaces. We will select the INX file that we have created before. Finally, for the CPU cores, we can select multi-core or single core, but sadly for the LTE or student version, we can only use the single core. Thus, we will be using the single core for our simulation. After filling all the info for general settings, we will click on the meteorology under our mandatory sections. In the meteorology, we can input data through three options. Use simple forcing, use full forcing, or use other LBC. For this tutorial video, we will be using the simple forcing. But if you want to use full forcing, which requires more precise weather data for more precise simulation. If we click on full forcing, we will see that we need to add a FOX file. For creating a FOX file, we need to go back to the headquarter and click data and setting an open forcing manager. Here, we will be able to create a new FOX file or load previous FOX file. Here, we can input data for specific dates by going to data and import data by CSV format or EPW or TRY format. The EPW format is an Energy Plus weather data file and CSV format is a short of Excel file with the detailed weather data. After importing this EPW file, we can save the file as the FOX file in our desired location. Then if we go back to full forcing, we can add that FOX file and we can also specify which parameter to be forced. In this tutorial, we will be using simple forcing. If we click on it, we can see that it requires the air temperature and humidity and wind and radiation values. Furthermore, if we go back to the meteorology section, we can see that it is mentioned that simple forcing is recommended if only air temperature and humidity are present. Full force is recommended for highest precision and the use of other LBC is an older version option and due to this simplicity, it is not recommended. We generally try to use simple forcing or full forcing. Let's go back to simple forcing. I have already collected the data and values for our site area. I will be inputting these values in the manually adjust table along with the max air temperature minimum air temperature, minimum relative humidity, maximum relative humidity, wind speed, wind direction, low clouds, medium clouds, 
and high clouds that I have collected. So you need to collect all this data for your specific site location and input those values. We have now inserted all the data of our site. You can also add optional sections for your simulation like this for more precise simulation output. So after providing all the data, we need to have the SIMX file by clicking on save SIMX as the selecting the desired location and file name. I will be naming it as root simulation and click on save. Now to run this SIMX file, we need to go back to the NVMED headquarter and click on NV Core. A tab will pop up. We need to select our project file that is found in the top right corner. Our project is saved as project 01. Then it will automatically load all the files and infos of the project. Then we can open the SIMX file that we have just created by clicking open SIMX file that is root simulation and file will be loaded. It's important to remember about the simulation is that if you are using the light version of the NVMED, the maximum number of grid is limited to 50, 50, 40 to run the simulation. Now, if we click on the run simulation icon, the simulation will start running and all output files will be saved on our project database. So this is all for this part of our video. Keep watching where we will continue to show how to read the output results of the simulation using Leonardo.